Shari from LittleBlueDeerDesign.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a really beautiful um, fashion or interior blog post using the new Gutenberg um, page editor plugin. Gutenberg is the brand new visual editor that has come with the latest version of WordPress and um, for many people it's already installed. You can activate it if you've updated it to WordPress to the latest version of WordPress. Um, if not, I'm going to show you very quickly first how to add the plugin so I can show you how to create this really awesome and beautiful um, blog post. So the first thing that you're going to do is I have a tutorial um, on how to add a plugin to WordPress. You can go to my site, littlebluedeerdesign.com. You can search um, how to add a plugin. You'll find this tutorial. This walks you through and in detail. Basically, you're going to go to the dashboard. You're going to go to plugins, add new and I already have this installed, but what you would do would be to search Gutenberg, click enter, and you'll see, as I said, I already have it installed, but if you don't have it installed, you can click on install now and uh, go ahead and activate, and then you'll have it installed. And you will see that when you go to create a new post, so go to posts, add new, your editor is going to look a little bit different and I'm going to show you how to navigate this. So instead of the classic editor, you'll see something that looks very similar to this. I'm going to close out of this because I've already started a post draft and I'm going to walk you through my post draft here and just show you a few cool little things. So the first thing, of course, is your post title where it says add title. I'm going to call mine fast fashion. Just type in your title. And as you can see, this is going to show up just like your classic editor titles in whatever fashion your uh, blog design is. It'll have the post title. So there's that. Now, the way that the Gutenberg editor works is with content blocks. So instead of having the old classic toolbar at the top, you're going to go to the upper left-hand corner. Click on the plus sign and you're going to see all of these cool blocks that you can now add to your post. And I'm just going to show you a few of the most popular ones. This is brand new. I'm just learning this too. I just wanted to go ahead and do a tutorial to kind of help you guys um, get started. And I hope you have fun learning along with me. I'll definitely be doing um, more tutorials showing you more about uh, all of the different options. But for now, we're going to start with the basics. One cool new thing is the cover image. So you would just click on cover image, just click it, and it will add the cover image block. As you can see, it's all blocks here. Um, the cover image is just a large image, and you have the opportunity to type text, my cover image. Um, this is kind of cool. Now, how Gutenberg works is that you've got your block selected. Over here on the right side of the page, you've got your document and your block settings. So you're going to want to make sure that your block is selected. And then you'll have the options for that block are going to show up over here on the right, which is really cool. So the cover image settings. Um, it does have the opportunity to select your background opacity. That's a little dark for me. We'll go to about 40%. And you can see when I preview my post that I've got my cover image with a little uh, opaque background. So just kind of a nifty little cool looking feature. Um, I kind of like it. Now let's move into the meat of the blog posts, um, which of course is the paragraph. So once again, upper left corner, add block, and you're going to choose the paragraph block. I've already added my paragraph. As you add these blocks, they will show up below the latest block that you added, so it's all kind of in chronological order. So after I'd added my cover image, the next thing I did was add the paragraph block. Now let's click over here. Paragraph. What are my options? I've typed in my text here. Once again, come over to the right hand side. Make sure you're on block. And the options that you have with Gutenberg are to set your text size. You can do small, medium, large, extra large. You can also uh, drag here for custom size. Um, one little kind of fun stylistic thing is you can add the drop cap or turn it off. So you can start your post off with a drop cap if you want. I really love as a designer the color settings. You can set the background color for your text block by clicking one of these um, color circles here. And you can also highlight over your text 
and choose the text color here. So definitely don't wanna go with pink. I'm gonna go with black. You can pick what you want. Your other options are, of course, um, you can click on the rainbow color wheel, custom color picker. You can add the hex color. This is a six digit uh, color code um, used in web design. So if you know your specific hex color, you can add that. You can also select from the uh, rainbow gradient here, a specific text color. So you can kind of have fun with that. It's very cool. Once again, you can see I've got a drop cap. I've got my color text background and I think it looks kind of neat. I wouldn't overuse it, um, but it can be kind of fun for some outstanding um, text that you want to highlight. The other thing I always want to show people, everybody wants to know how to add a link. Um, this is important. You want to be able to link to other sites, etc. in your blog post. Click on your text. Highlight the text that you want to add a link to. Click on the link icon. Type in your URL, littlebluedeer.com, and click apply and the other thing that you can do once you've added your link is click on link settings and you can choose to open your text in a new window or not so that's kind of cool so now we've got the drop cap we've got the text with the links etc um let's move on to the gallery which i know people are really going to love i have a four image gallery here um, once again what you're going to do is go to add block I'll add a new gallery just to show you. Gallery, here's my gallery. Now, you can upload new images or select from the media library. I've already got a few images. Click on the images you wanna add and click insert gallery. Now, I've got a three image gallery here. This is the really cool thing um, about Gutenberg is it has responsive columns, which is totally awesome. So, I have my columns set to three. You can see that I now have three images. If I want to set them to two, I'll have the two images at the top and then the full image at the bottom. So, very awesome. We'll leave it at three for now. One thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure of is crop images is turned on. Um, as you can see, my images are cropped. When they're uncropped, they're not all uniform. When they're cropped, they're uniform. Very cool, right? Now let's talk about captions. This is where I think Gutenberg falls down just a little bit because so far I have not figured out how to add a link to the actual image in the gallery. Um, so unfortunately, this is just going to be pretty much of a static image gallery. However, if you want to, you have the option to add captions. So click back on your gallery and we're going to click on the, just click on an image and click the edit gallery. And this is going to bring you to where you can add captions. New caption, pretty sweater. Be good if I could spell sweater right. Okay, click update gallery, and now we've got our caption. Now, if you want to add a link to your caption, highlight the caption text, click on the link button, add your link. I'm just gonna link back to my own site. And once again, click apply, and you will have um, a caption that links. I do not like this. I will like it when you can actually link to the image. And I, like I said, I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I'm not sure that it's an option. Um, there's probably a plugin, etc. So I will be posting as soon as I find out a new tutorial and a new blog post, I'll keep you posted. But for the time being, let's just focus on how very awesome, um, this gallery looks, because it's just so cool. It's responsive. Um, you can have as many grids and columns as you want, and it looks really awesome. So that is how to add a gallery. Now, what else can you add? Once again, for the sake of this post, we're gonna keep it simple. Um, we've got the cover image. We've talked about the paragraph. Um, we've also got just a single image. So some people like to intersperse galleries with a single image. Once again, back here, click on add block, and I've already added my single image, but just like with the old editor, you can uh, upload a new image or just select an image from the media library, select it, add it, and 
there is your image. So that's kind of cool. Um, you can add images one at a time. So you'd have just a row of images and they're just going to show up. Um, once again, just like this, a single image. Here I've got a paragraph block. Here I've got a single image. Okay. There's some image op options you can play with. I just uploaded mine. If you have one of my themes um, with Gutenberg, it should, if you just upload the image, the full size image, just leave as is and uh, it should appear uh, dependent on the original image with just filling the body of the blog post. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Um, two more very quick things. I'm going to show you how to add. Uh, if you want to, you can add a header text block. Um, this is the bolder, brighter text, um, header text you can choose from H3, H4. Um, this just depends on how your theme is set. Um, you could also just use the paragraph block, which I would actually recommend instead of fooling with the header text. Um, once again, with the paragraph, now that you have the option to, uh, to change the, the paragraph settings, um, you can set your text setting size over here. So you could go ahead and set it to extra large or custom size. And why even worry about adding the header? I just wanted to point that out. We'll go right back to small here. Okay, the last cool thing, this is in beta. Um, which means that all of the kinks are not fully ironed out. And actually all of Gutenberg is kind of in beta. Once again, I'm sure they'll be making um, great improvements to this as time goes on. So um, the columns are a beta feature, not perfect, probably not going to work great on every theme. Um, they certainly do seem to work on mine though. So you have the cool option to now add columns, which used to have to be done with plugins and short codes, and it was kind of complicated. Um, now you can actually add columns okay and as far as I can see once again I've only spent um, the past day looking into this it seems like right now there's only the option to add two columns that's okay though I'm sure in the future we'll be able to have various column widths etc um, but I did just want to show you once again add in the content block uh, click on columns and your columns will appear so you can add now into your column your text so my my paragraph and then over here I've already got my paragraph two. So once again in the column um, you can add different elements. I'm sticking to text but I just wanted to show you uh, the two the two column option just in case you want to um, create some text in columns. Like I said, we'll go forward with this uh, in the future. I think I'll be able to tell you a little bit more about the columns and that kind of thing, but I did just want to show you. So we've got some column text here and then some more text here. So you've got two columns of text, which is kind of awesome. Um, and then back over here, here's our paragraph with the text link that we had. So those are the basics. Um, I wanted to keep it simple and I don't want to overwhelm everybody, but once again, all you're going to do with Gutenberg is use this little plus block in the upper left hand corner. Select your block. Um, I did not go into great detail. There's some different options. I will do that in the future. But right now, look at all the cool stuff that we've got with Gutenberg. Um, it's a really, I'm actually really, really super excited about this. I think it's going to be so cool and I'm so happy with WordPress for doing this. Um, we've got the cover image. We've got the awesome styled paragraph text. We've got these really cool responsive galleries and I think the post looks great. A few things that I want to point out. Um, I am not sure how if you are sending out full blog posts using MailChimp, FeedBurner, etc how the formatting is going to be. Um, keep in mind that this is still in the beta stage, so I can't promise how it's going to look if you publish posts to MailChimp, um, that kind of thing. I haven't had time to look into that. I'm not sure um, how accommodating MailChimp has been. So just keep in mind that, you know, we're experimenting with this, and I'm sure it will improve as time goes on. Please definitely do. Um, Follow my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to my blog posts um, because I will be glad to keep you updated and posted on all of the awesome new features. And I hope you have a really fun time um, 
with this post. You can definitely uh, leave me a comment in YouTube comments on my post. If you have a question, I would be so happy to answer it. And once again, we offer a whole uh, array, array of uh, blog site and uh, logo design services. So I'd love to help you out if I can help you out with any one of these things. Um, really look forward to working with you and thank you so much for uh, listening to my tutorial. Thank you.